my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another action-packed episode of Chris the Butcher of French. Yes, this is episode two in our new HQ. And that rhymed, didn't it? On my point, I didn't even know it. Right, I'm going to stop that there, right there. Stop that there, right there, right there. Huh? I have got something special, right? Do you fancy a curry? But you also fancy breakfast. So, I have got myself some sausages, some bacon grill, some smoked bacon, some tomatoes, some, uh, some eggs, some Rogan Josh sauce, er, uh, uh, some rice, and uh, I think that's it. If I forgot anything, we'll find it very shortly, won't we? And I am going to create, <laughs> I say create, I imagine this is going to be very salty. If you like salt, this is for you, right? This is going to be my ultimate mega breakfast curry. Racing our pan is some garlic fry like. Secondly, we're going to get some sausages in. I'm not going to normally cut them up, but I'm not doing tonight because we want to be able to taste the sausage. Now, there's no sizzle on there because I obviously let the pan warm up enough. But while that is warming up, I'm going to bang on and cut up this bacon grill. So there are our sausages. Browning enough nicely. Now I'm going to go in with a whole load, a full tin, in fact, of bacon grill. Now we're going to get that fried off as well. No more oil in the pan because a load of fat in that bacon grill, isn't there? So let's get that rocking. And then we're going to go in with more salt with our chopped up smoky bacon. Now, not to quote a particular famous film but I think we're going to need a bigger pan because it does our smoky bacon smoky not that we should but we are doing anyway we're adding some more crap to this pan and that is a tin of Italian chopped tomatoes get in give that a mix of root Get that incorporated. That'll take a bit of heat out of the pan as well. But we're not finished there. Because with them tomatoes, right, because they're a bit acidic, we want to counteract that, don't we? So I have got a teaspoon of sugar. I said sugar. And I'm going to do that. And obviously salt. But I mean sugar. And sugar when I mean salt. Listen, that is some sugar. That is some sugar. Buy some white stuff in there, right? I don't mean the illegal stuff, because I'm not putting this anywhere near my nostrils. Right. Let that bring to boil a bit, and I'll be back to you. Now that's reduced a little bit, I'm going to add roughly about a teaspoon of mild chilli powder. I said mild, I would have added Carolina Reapers. But uh, they'd all have been me eating this. And essentially, right, like any, any, any a small YouTuber like myself, when they do a cooking video like this, right, it's not just to have one bite of it on camera and bin it. This is our tea. This is our tea, man. This is going to feed me, Lou, Josh. Uh, Connor and Keenan aren't going to eat this because they're on chicken nugget and chips. Now it's time for the Asda special. Rogan Josh. <laughs> Let's slap this in. Now, this is what makes this a curry. And I am not going to explain myself any further on the curry situation and making it from scratch. Because 
I'm a bit work all day. And if you wanted to know how to make a curry from scratch, you'd be searching how to make a curry from scratch. And I'm not making a curry from scratch. There it is. I've splashed it everywhere, all over my new kitchen. All over the tiles, all over the side. I have now officially christened our new HQ. So let's get this. Well, it's going to get warm through, hasn't it? I'm going to warm it through. I'm going to set it to a simmer. I'm going to simmer it for about 15, 20 minutes, which will give me enough time to knock up some rice in the microwave. <laughs> and put some garlic and herb, uh, what are they call it, breads in the oven. So next time you see this, boys and girls, this will be on a plate. So there it is on a plate. Like I said, it'd be on a plate. And if you think I've finished there, you're sorely mistaken. Because I have got an absolute, I've got, an, I've got a fried egg on there, which is absolutely, I'm, I'm crap at fried eggs, right? But that is there, look. Fried egg. And we're not finished there either. No, we're not finished. We are going to go in with our customary green shit. And today it's parsley. Parsley it is part of the Indian cuisine. Not that there's anything Indian at all about what I've just produced. But it's a full English breakfast in a curry. Now, let's get this and slide it down my gizzard. So, my brothers and sisters... There is my breakfast curry. Now, it, I've got a slide of my gizzard, haven't I? But we're going to go for a bit of that sausage. Look at the sausage on that. A bit of that bacon grill. Now, I bought bacon grill because it's cheaper than spam. And I don't think there's any difference, to be quite honest. Yeah. Mmm. My egg is rock hard. And there's a reason behind that. It's because uh, I've been doing this in between watching Kieran. Uh, and I had to stop recording. In between putting the green shit on and doing my taste test. Uh, roughly about 35 money minutes. But there's the egg. Oh, there's some bacon in there. Mmm. And you know what? I thought this was going to be really salty in it, and it isn't. In fact, mm, my brothers and sisters, that is mighty fucking fire. So that was my breakfast curry, my brothers and sisters. And if I say so myself, it tasted not bad at all. I didn't even make any sense to it. It tasted all right, right? Not just all right, it was okay. It wasn't as salty. In fact, it was nowhere near salty. Saltier. Salty. Saltier than I thought it was going to be salty. It weren't salty at all when I expected it to be really salty. Eh? This conversation's getting a bit salty, isn't it? But anyway, I enjoyed it. If you liked it, press like, comment, Share it on your social media and subscribe. Bah! And become a family member of hashtag TeamCTB where I 